to a sickness called OCD. Interestingly, we found a uh, tshuva in Minchat Asher that says how to deal with a person that has that obsessive compulsive disorder, which is a mental disorder that when you get the need to check over and over again things and you're not sure of anything, you always perform what they call rituals repeatedly. And for example, a person who constantly would wash his hands, he would feel that he has germs. So constantly he would, uh, he would over and over wash his hands. Or for instance, he's not sure that he closed the door, so constantly he would repeatedly go and check, is the door really locked? Or did he uh, close the stove? He would check over and over again. Did he actually put away the iron? Uh, or, or things like that, they feel the need to count their steps or repeatedly uh, repeat words. People like that with OCD, although they have un un unwanted thoughts, but that's something that comes against their will. All kind of uh, behaviors that are against their will, all kind of mental images that appear in their mind and words that they say, although it's against their will, they're not, they're not, they're, that's not what they want to say. But regardless, that's the way they would behave. And this is this uh, sickness of obsessive compulsive disorders, OCD as we call it. And the question is, what do you do with such a person that it comes to the field of Torah? That's a very big question that many, many of the poskim get on a regular basis. A person calls, I'm not sure that I heard all the words in the Megillah. I have a word that I'm doubtful. Did I hear it or I didn't hear it? I'm not sure I said Kriyat Shema that I said all the words. I'm not sure that I said them correctly. I'm not sure in Kiddush that I said every word correctly. I'm not sure that my hands are completely clean when I say the bracha. I'm not sure that I clean myself after a bathroom and so on and so forth. It doesn't end. Those questions don't end. So what do you do? Lichora, you say, wonderful. A person is a such a reshamayim. It's a great thing. You have such a midah, I wish I had such a midah, such a mind that you're not sure about things that you want to do the best when it comes to mitzvot. But the truth is, it doesn't come from Yirat Shamaim, rather it's that sickness called OCD. So how do you treat such a sickness? Says the Minchat Asher, in Chelek Bet, in Siman Kuf Lamed Dalet, he brings down a tshuva about it. And he says that the way the doctor says to heal such a sickness is to not ever repeat the things that you did the second time. You always have to do it one time and keep on going. And even if you're doubtful whether you did it correctly or not, you keep on going. And even more so, if you are know for sure that you didn't say it or you didn't do what you need to do, keep on going. And that's what he brings down that the halacha is that one has to keep on going. Where do we found this? We found that you violate mitzvot aseh, says the Minchat Asher, for other things as well. Like for instance, if you have some mitzvot aseh that cost a lot of money, so we're saying there's a limit to it. It's up to fifth or a tenth. The Mishnah Bura has a discussion on this. In Siman Teshren Tafresh Nun Vav, the Ramah brings a fifth, the Mishnah Bura says a tenth, unless it's mitzvah overet. Chazonish says a person needs to spend no more than a fifth than his money. Um, but, but you see that there's a limit to it. Says the Minchat Asher, definitely when it comes to the health, one has a limit. And therefore, if it comes to a mitzvah to say, one does not need to perform the mitzvah to say if it's going to cause him not to heal himself that sickness of the OCD that he has. And he says that we found such a thing in the Khatam Sofer. Khatam Sofer taught us that idea that if you have a kid and he's not 100% in mind and he needs to get healthy, but the only place that he could get healthy from his condition is a place that they would, by the goyim, that they would feed him non-kosher food. Says the Khatam Sofer, send him over there. Absolutely. Because in order to get healthy, you're allowed even to do, not only to violate Aseh, but also violate Elot Aseh. This is how the Khatam Sofer brings down. Where do we found it? We found this at a person that walks in the desert. It's, it's, it's Iman Shim Memdalet in Ilchot Shabbat. And he doesn't know when is Shabbat. He lost count. When is Shabbat? 
So the Torah says that a person should do every day minimum just for his food, melacha, just as much as he needs, just in order to eat, and he keeps on walking. Make sure that you keep on walk, keep on walking. Mutar li lechbo bechol yom afilu kama parsaot. Says the Mishnah Bura, why is it that you're allowed to go kamba parsaot? Because if you stay here, you're going to die, you're not getting, in order to save yourself, of course you're allowed to walk as much as you need, even though it's Shabbat and you're violating Shabbat because you're walking every day, come up, so it's sure you're violating Shabbat. So as a Sofer, you see from here that a person needs to do anything in his ability to heal himself from the sickness. And same thing says in Minchat Asher, that such a person that, become, that has that OCD, in order to heal himself, he must do anything and, uh, and one of the things would be not to repeat at all what he thinks that he didn't say. And even if he knows for sure, keep on going. Don't go back. And even if it's nogea, lota se. Now, of course, every question has to be asked by a rabbi. But this is the big picture that the Minchat Asher tells us. And this we found also in the Stipler HaKadosh, in Karyana de Garta Chelek Rishon, all the way in the back. He says that one of the things that OCD people have is constantly fearing that they might have said nedarim, I said neder, I said this, uh, is that a neder, it's not a neder, says the Karyana de Igarta. בדבר אנשים עושים שבועות נדרים והקדשות, כמה פעמים באו אליי צעירים כאלו, ונתברר שהם סובלים מזה נוראות, ובכל ליבם רוצים להיפטר מזה. These people, all OCD, constantly has rituals, and have נדרים, and promises, and all kind of things. Says the stipler, how do you, what do you do such a thing? So he says that the brisk rav said the following, שלא חל לא נדר ולא שבועה, כי לא נעשה בדעת. You should know that it's not considered a נדר, whatsoever, don't worry about it, it's not considered a nether. Not that the person doesn't have a mind, he has explained, it's not like a shote, but rather in order to say a nether, you need to have your heart into it. And therefore they consider the anusim, that they can control themselves, and it's not a nether, and don't worry about it. Anybody that comes to you with an OCD asks you about a nether, it's not a nether, goodbye, it's all good. And therefore, he speaks another tshuva and he says that the uh, people that constantly came to him with these kind of questions, he told them that when we come, for instance, to the question of, as we spoke before, praying and I didn't say this and I, maybe I didn't hear in the Megillah that and so on and so forth, says the stipler, when you pray from the Sidur, don't ever repeat a word that you said already, that you skipped already. Even if he knows for sure that he didn't say something correctly, or he, or he skipped something. Never go back, says the stipler. זה ברור שעל פי הלכה אינו מחויב יותר. אבל אי אפשר להסביר דבר זה למישהו בעצבים מתוחים בעניין זה. Although that idea that I'm saying right now, it says the stipler, I can't explain to him. I'm just telling him the halacha the way it is, without explaining the reason. You know why? Because if I explain the reasons, he's going to say like this and like that, and maybe yes and maybe no. Therefore, צריך לומר לו בהחלט ובלי טעם, אולי יש להסביר לו שיש חשש דור... ש... להסביר לו שחשש דאורייתא אין כאן, קשה לי להעריך בעניין זה רק להורות שכל מה שעבר לא, יחשוב, לא יחזור שוב עליו עוד הפעם. Never repeat anything again. So that is the message of the Kiriana de Garda to a person with OCD. Don't ever repeat the words again, even if you didn't say, even if you think you didn't do the mitzvah correctly. Don't ever repeat them again. And this is Nogea. Other things says the stipler as well. Like for instance, a person that doesn't know for sure that he has that feeling in the right place, and he keeps on looking at the mirror to make sure that that feeling is in the right place. He says, don't worry about it, never do look in the mirror, because such a thing is not also me'akev, uh, because the Divre Chaim Mitzan says that makom yesh ba'arosh l'shnet filin is not only to the length, but also to the width over here, there's enough room, so wherever it is, it's good, and this is how he goes and tells him also, if a person feels that he didn't clean his body correctly after the bathroom, also good, he brings him Mariah from the Poskim as well, from the Eshel Avram, and so on and so forth. And he keeps on going, explaining those ideas which come to teach us that when we're dealing with a person that has an OCD, the Torah says, in that condition, you don't perform the Torah 100%. And that is going to heal you eventually, 
that you'll be able to go back in track and eventually you'll be able to be Mekayem Kol HaTorah Kula. And Minchat Asher says, uh, maybe you would say, this, this person with the OCD asked him, maybe I should, for instance, eat bread less than a shiur sviya, which means he, he, does, he, does, he doesn't know if he says Birkat Amazon correctly, and he skips words. So therefore, in order that at least I'm not going to be chayav Birkat Amazon from the Torah, if I don't eat to my satisfaction, so therefore I'm not going to be chayav minat Torah. So that makes things a little bit better. Says the Minchat Asher, absolutely not. He should eat regular and should not pay attention to that at all. Why? Because this is the A person constantly tortures himself, feeling that he doesn't do correctly. Maybe I should do like this, maybe I should do like that. And la davar sof. He says, if you're going to start doing that, you're going to come out every day with new ideas. Maybe. You should eat less than a shiur of toch de achilat pras in order not to be chayav bracha achona. And maybe you should eat in a way that's not a normal way in order to be patu mi, mi bracha from, from, from uh, bracha arishona. And maybe you should not sleep, should not keva. You should just sleep very, very short uh, uh, time and wake up every time in between in order not to be mit chayav birkat Torah. That is exactly the opposite of the way one would heal himself from that sickness. Says the, the, the Minchat Asher, you have to start behaving normal, and whatever pass, don't worry about it, keep on going. And if you go back, says the stipler, there was one person that didn't listen to him, and today he's even more sick. That's how he writes. But those that listened to him, they got healed already. This is how he writes. He says, Are you kamatsirim? Few young people that came to me with that problem, I told them that advice and I directed them and they listened to me and today they are healthy. On the contrary, on the other hand, there was one that was stubborn and didn't listen to this type of And he thought always that he's correct, of course you should be worried, all, all these things. In the end, he doesn't pray at all. So therefore, comes the Torah over here and tells us a yesod. You need to know that if you go to the Torah and 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 the Torah you would give up the spirituality in order to heal up the, the physical, and eventually you get both. When do you know how to apply this or that? For that, you have to ask that Torah. It's not up to us. You see over here that the Torah says in Tzarat exactly the opposite from the way we would think. And when it comes to healing the OCD person, come the poskim and say also the opposite from the way we think. But to teach us that everything has to be Alpi Da Torah.